All right, this is going to be a quick rig rundown of my Old Town Predator 13. I've had it uh, almost two years now. It's a really nice boat. It's taken me this much. It's still an evolution trying to figure out what all I want to do to it and how I want to add things on to it and what have you. But it's coming along. I'm kind of getting it set up how I like now. So, uh, kind of start out at the bow here and work my way down. For those of you who know much about the Old Town Predators, you know it's got lots of storage and of course it comes with these mounting plates where you can have gear track or mount your accessories to it and they're removable so you don't have to drill any holes into your boat, which is a great feature. Um, starting with the hatch, got the click seal. Open it up, you can see there's plenty of storage up in here. I've got all kinds of stuff dry bag, little cold bag here with some just extra supplies and things, extra tackle boxes, towels, an anchor system with a buoy, a little clamp with a camera mount in case I want to do like external shot or something mounted onto a tree limb or what have you. Battery bag up under there for depth finder which I don't have yet. Would like to hook up one. I'm still debating about whether or not I want to mount it permanently or just do a little Maybe uh, one of the portable boxes you can mount on the side, some of the gear track or something like you might have seen some people do. Got one of my camera mounts here with a Scotty extender and a Scotty camera mount. They're really useful, very versatile. Have um, a couple Scotty rod holders here that most of the time I wouldn't actually have them in unless I'm like trolling. Usually if I'm just holding my rods for transport or something, I'll strap them into these convenient little rod carries that go down the side of the boat here. They're really handy because they're accessible right on the side and they're right out of the way. Got another Scotty camera mount here. Kind of a homemade one that I made with a uh, one of those little Targus uh, monopods. Put a little Scotty mount on the top of it. Got my little uh, leashes to secure my cameras. Um, don't have much going on here with the center hatch, but what I, what I like about the Old Town 13 is the storage in the center hatch. You know, some of the other makes, the MX or the XLs and all those, you're going to give that up. Of course, they have their their own merits. But what I liked about this, maybe decide on this, is I want the ability to put rods down in there for transport if I wanted to. I can have as many rods just about as I could ever use out on the water, so that's nice straps down pretty well of course easy to adjust foot pedals and stuff which i have set up pretty much for my comfort level Got you the water holder i like the little accessories here you know i don't really use them for anything other than just moving my rod holders and stuff like that i haven't mounted much permanent to it got a little magnet here for like a yak gear uh, light that goes on there it's pretty neat which i might show you here in a minute made some rod leashes which you can find all kinds of uh Examples on YouTube of how to make those. Got a little paracord on them. Pretty nice. Made them where they're pretty visible. Uh, you've probably seen the seats with the Old Town Predators, you know, but it's got uh, three options basically. It's in the high position right now, which gives you quite a bit of storage up underneath, if you can see. But it's a little higher center of gravity, a little more tippy. Or you can pop these straps off, put it down into these lower brackets down here, and uh, the seat will sit a lot lower. Gives you a little more power for paddling, etc. But uh, I like it in the high position, a little more room, a little more visibility when you're on the water. Got a good Stolquist PFD with some uh, stuff on the front here, some leashes to keep my clippers, a whistle, stuff like that handy. A little LED light. You never know when you might need it. I like the little pouch on the back, you know, gives you some storage. I got a towel, a couple dry bags for storing phones and things, sunscreen, etc. You can put tackle, whatever you want in there. It's pretty useful. And very few DIY things on this boat. One of them was just took a crate, and I wanted to be able to lock it down. So I've got a lid on top that latches and holds stuff. Got a uh, DIY drag chain made with a chain and some inner tube, dog leashed, 
The rest is just some tackle boxes and things down in there, but quite a bit of storage back there. And I pretty much got all the tackle I'd ever want inside this boat. So I've got stuff for pan fishing, I've got stuff for bass fishing, stripers, whatever. I kind of got separate boxes with all kinds of stuff in them. Got the little mini paddle here in case I should ever lose mine, or if you want to just do some one handed sculling to hold your position when you're out in the water. Don't want to have to use your big paddle, although normally I do, but I've got it there in case of emergency. One of the rare things I did was a DIY uh, stakeout pole. Got some JB weld on the end of a dowel inside of some PVC. A little orange tape for visibility and a little floaty in case I drop it. Got a little uh, Scotty light back here with little flags from Home Depot. Little Home Depot flag on the back here too with the bungee and stuff. Just gives you extra bungee if you want it. Um, I did buy some pre-made rod holders amount on the back here and I use them just pretty much just to carry rods you know i don't fish out of them or anything like that it's kind of hard to reach them from the seat without turning them around all the way um you notice these plates here i actually bought the the ones with the uh gear track in them so i could just replace the existing plates it wouldn't be very hard to kind of channel something out here and put one in but i like the fact that it's kind of recessed and comes that way pretty simple so I got gear track on pretty much all my mounting plates that way I can put whatever I want on there and move it wherever I want it's quite easy but uh, and I got a sea tug kayak card I've tried some DIY ones a couple of cheaper ones and it's a pretty heavy rig and uh, most of the time it's hard to get them on there and get them balanced and stay and so far this one has been very easy to use and uh, it's easy to take them on easy to take off it rolls well so I've been pretty happy with it so that's a short rundown, I know, but I uh, wanted to get kind of a little overview. There's quite a few things on the internet about these boats, so just to add one more to the mix, but maybe someone can see something I've stolen from somebody else and get the idea or give them another idea of something to do. Um, did do a uh, no drill anchor trolley, just trying not to put any holes in the boat if I can help it at all. So. It's got the pulley system here, and I did run it all the way front and back, but I hardly ever use it. But I do have the, dra the drag chain and the stakeout pole, and that's pretty much all I've needed. But if I need it, I have an anchor system. And so there you go. If anybody has any questions or comments they want to leave below, whatever, I'll be glad to try to get back to you and tell you what I know about it. And uh, I'd highly recommend uh, this boat, but there's so many good fishing kayaks out there. The main thing is get you one and get out there and use it. Alright, y'all take care.